Welcome to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? I'm Jimmy Kimmel. Let's play millionaire. This season, big stars playing for big money for charities, big and small, and some very deserving Americans. Yippee-i-yay! We have a firefighter in the house. Let's do this. She is a registered nurse. Jimmy! You teach special education. You're killing me, Jimmy. A shot at life-changing amounts of money. Every moment of my life has led to this. All right, here we go. The $64,000 question is... I think I know this one. Feeling nervous? I don't think I've ever felt this nervous in my life. I knew you were going to make it tough. I think I'm going to cry. But the good news is... I'm so confused by this whole situation. Do you feel the music coursing through our veins right now? Yeah! You're going for $125,000. $125,000 could get me out of a couple of jams. That's a lot of money. For $250,000. Questions are going to get harder. For $500,000. Oh my God. It's a lot of money. You gotta go big to win big, right? No celebrity in the 20 years that this show has been on ever won a million dollars. I'm in a state of fear and paralysis. <laughs> Here's the million dollar question. For this question, I'm going to refuse to answer. <laughs> Just won you a million dollars for your charity. Friendships will be tested. Tell me about your emotions. I don't have emotions. Brains will be busted. Damn, Jimmy, I don't know, bro. I don't know. And dreams will come true. I really want to win a million dollars. On a new season of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Thanks, 12 people who are here. I'm Jimmy Kimmel. We're back in prime time with a COVID-y new season of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? We have no audience. It's just me and three lonely cameramen in a big empty room and my glam team, of course. You know, when Millionaire premiered in the summer of 1999, things were not so good then either. A lot of people came down with Pokemon fever, which was very serious. Fabio was attacked by a goose. So what I'm trying to say is, we will get through this too. This season, we found a group of exceptionally deserving contestants, women and men who've been heroic in this pandemic, people who've been hit hard. We're giving each of them a chance to go home with an enormous cardboard check. And also, we scoured the town to find the least essential workers of all, celebrities who will be playing for their favorite charities. Will someone win a million dollars? Let's find out. Our first celebrity contestant of the new season is an actress, comedian, and author and philanthropist who can be heard in the SpongeBob movie, Sponge on the Run, and seen in the movie Bad Trip. Please welcome Tiffany Haddish. How are you? I'm successful. <laughs> I woke up today. I'm winning. I'm happy. I've lost 20 pounds. I could do the splits now. Yeah. You can do the splits now? I could do the split. Really? Yeah, I figured, you know, do something I haven't done in many, many years. Have you been going to cheerleading camp? Why? Uh, I just, no, I just wanted to be limber, you know, uh, have good hips. All right. It makes me feel young. Yeah, it makes well, me feel like I can be in a twerk video, you know? <laughs> you could be in a twerk video. I have been in a twerk video. <laughs> well, there you go. And you definitely could be in a twerk video. What charity are you playing for tonight, uh, Tiffany? Today I'm playing for the She Ready Foundation. Mm -hmm. uh, it's an organization that supports foster youth. You started this I organization. I started this organization um, because when I was 13 and in foster care, I was getting moved around from house to house with my clothes and trash bags. And it made me feel like garbage. And I said to myself, if I ever get any kind of power, I'm gonna make sure kids don't feel like garbage. And so I get them suitcases. And that way you feel like a traveler, like someone on an adventure, as opposed to trash being passed around. Well, that's great. I mean, that's uh, great to give back to those very kids that you were at one time. Yeah, and if I win a million dollars, that's a gang of suitcases. I probably could buy enough for all the foster kids in America. <laughs> that's a lot of suitcases. Yeah. Now, you are 15 questions away from a million dollars. It's not so hard for your foundation. She ready? The rules are simple. The more questions you answer correctly, the more money you win. If you need help, we can throw you a lifeline. Your lifelines are 50-50, phone a friend, and ask the host. So you're in good hands except for the ask the host part. If it's a question about like Huey Lewis, I'm all over it, but okay. it almost never is. Okay. All right. And we allowed you to bring the smartest person you know. Tell us 
who the smartest person you know is. I brought Justin Balbo. Please welcome Justin. Justin, what is your last name? <laughs> my last name is Razan. Okay, why Balbo? Well, Balbo is my wife's last name. Oh, I see. So this friend, you don't even know his last name. <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> Dang, Justin! I You're... thought your last name was Balbo! <laughs> you already won in the hole. This is going to be a situation today. Justin can help you as much as you want him to help you for the first 10 questions like riding a bike with 10 training wheels. Are you ready to do this? She ready. All right, Tiffany Haddish is here. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? <laughs> Tiffany, here's your first question for $100. Okay. Which of the following is defined by the Oxford English Dictionary as a wind instrument consisting of a tube with holes? Tambourine, flute, violin, Tucker Carlson. B, final answer, flute. Flute is absolutely correct, yes. My auntie used to play the flute back in the day. She did? Yeah, then she became a stripper. Okay. <laughs> it's a true right. story. Next question is for $200. <laughs> On a list titled Top 10 Movies That Make You Want to Stay Out of the Water, the website WatchMojo.com names what Spielberg film as number one. E.T., The Extraterrestrial, The Goonies, Jaws, War of the Worlds. Okay, I've been watching some Spielberg movies. Okay. Okay, and I watched the one that made me not want to get in the water. And? You know, and I'm going to go with C, Jaws, final answer. Your final answer is Jaws? Yes, that is Jaws, of course. Yes. What did you think of Jaws? I thought it was so scary. You gotta remember, I was a little girl and I thought it was so scary and I did not want to get in the ocean until I met these surfers and they said that if you see dolphins, you don't have to worry about sharks because sharks are afraid of dolphins. I hope that's a question. <laughs> <laughs> the next question is for $300. A jokey apron features the exclamation, holy guacamole, and the image of a halo above what food? Grape, tomato, cucumber, Avocado. I'm gonna go with D, avocado. Is that your final answer? D, avocado, final answer. That is correct, okay. avocado. <laughs> <laughs> the next question is for $500. When they first launched in the 70s, Post-it notes were sold under what fittingly descriptive brand name? Slice and chop, press and peel, scrub and rub, chomp and munch. Mm. I'm gonna go with B, press and peel, final answer. Your final answer is press and peel. That is the correct answer, yes. <laughs> really should be peel and press, not press and peel, right? Yeah, but press and peel sounds more like, cause you press your fingers down on it and then you peel it off. Oh, okay. All right. I'm smart. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's test that for $1,000. Your next question is, what amusement park ride is traditionally designed to mimic the experience of timber floating downstream to a lumber mill? Log flume, Ferris wheel, bumper cars, tilt-a-whirl. So I'm gonna say A, log flume, final answer. That is correct, yes, okay. log flume, yeah. You got a thousand dollars. Yeah, that's ten suitcases. You want to go for more, right? Yes, I definitely want to go stop for more. now. Do you? No, no, I don't want to stop now. All right, but we're gonna take a break, and when we come back. We'll keep going with Tiffany Haddish, all the way up to a million dollars. Welcome back to Millionaire. Tiffany Haddish is in the hot seat. So far, she's earned $1,000 for her foundation. She ready. Tiffany, may I ask, um, the star of David you're wearing, is that the one I gave you or the one Barbara Streisand gave you? This is the one that Barbara Streisand gave me because the one that you gave me did not match my outfit. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> but I will wear the one that you gave me at some point in time. Wear it to Barbara's house. <laughs> I will, okay. I will wear it to Barbara's house. I'll make sure it matches. Okay. You're doing well so far. You barely even, Justin's been sitting there, he's like a lawn ornament. He's really, you've not eat, needed him at all. In fact, you're ignoring him, it feels like. I'm not ignoring him, I acknowledged him. Okay, all right, <laughs> let's do it. Let's play millionaire, here okay, we go. Okay, let's play. 
Tiffany, your next question is for $2,000. At the Rev Al is the Twitter handle of what famous American? Al Pacino, Al Roker, Al Sharpton, Al Gore. Well, Al Sharpton, now I got a situation with Al Sharpton. Oh, you, you know, do? he called me out one day, kind of made me upset, and he is a reverend. Al Gore, I don't even think he got a Twitter, and if he do, it would be like something with the earth. <laughs> okay, um, Al Pacino don't got nothing to do with no religion, except for maybe I think he played a pastor or something in a movie one time. <laughs> Al Roker, his stuff's gonna be about weather and food, okay? <laughs> I'ma go with, and Sharpton, he owe me an apology. He does. But he <laughs> owe me an apology. All right. He owe, we, you owe me an apology. <laughs> but I'm going to go with C, Al Sharpton, final answer. Your final answer is correct. It is the Reverend Al Sharpton who owes you an apology. He owes me an apology. All right. Next question for $4,000. In 2020, Bill Nye hosted a 40th Eruptiversary event that recalled a historic moment involving what natural landmark? Grand Canyon, Everglades National Park, Niagara Falls, Mount St. Helens. Justin. I got you on this one. Okay, you got me? Uh, it was uh, Mount St. Helens. It erupted in 1980. And that was 40 years ago. It was. That's right. We gonna say D. Mount St. Helens, final answer. Mount St. Helens is the correct answer. Very well done. Go, Justin! Go, Justin! I told you that's my smart friend. <laughs> well done, Justin. You are Tiffany's smart friend. You got $4,000. The next question's for $8,000. OK. Before they were postponed, the 2020 Summer Olympics were slated to be held in what world city? Stockholm, Tokyo, Madrid, Istanbul. Okay, I know it ain't Tokyo because they did that already. No. No? They didn't do that already? The Justin! The answer is Tokyo. Oh, for the 20... You sure for the 2020? Yeah, I'm positive. Okay, because I speak Japanese. I would have wanted to go to that. And Tokyo's in Japan, right? Correct. Okay, <laughs> all right. So I'm going to go... I'm going to go B... Tokyo, final answer. Tokyo is your final answer. And yes, Tokyo is the correct answer. Sorry for that, Michelle. No. My bad, my bad. And I have really good news. You don't have to miss it, because you can go next year. <laughs> yeah. Since you speak Japanese, it seems imperative that you get over there. Hi, Nihongo ga sposhi wa karimasu ka? Wow, that does sound like Japanese. <laughs> it is Japanese. <laughs> All right, Tiffany? For $16,000, where on his body would a woodchuck wear chukkas if a woodchuck could wear chukkas? On top of his head, on his feet, over his ears, around his neck? First of all, a woodchuck is not even a real creature. It isn't? <laughs> a wood, I've never heard of a wood, I've heard of Woody Woodpecker. Uh-huh. Uh, Justin! <laughs> All right, I will say something, and then you can choose the answer. OK. If a woodchuck could chuck wood, then a woodchuck would chuck uh, wood. That's just to confuse us. The question is, what is a chuckas, and where would you wear it? Well... That's the question. But chuckas is multiple. So, these, so already it's got the S on it. So this is the feet or ears? Because you only got one head, and you got one neck. Okay? Unless this is a two-headed animal that I definitely never heard of. Because it said, check us. Mm -hmm. So that's multiples. So you got feet, you got ears. All right? Feet and ears. Feet, ears. Now, a chucker, a wood chucker, is chucking wood. <laughs> so would they want to not hear nothing or would they want to protect their feet? Why they, nye, 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 nye. I thought that's how I imagine. I'm uh -huh. imagining. And my imagination would tell me they would want to protect their feet from getting splinters unless it's winter time. OK, I'm going to ask the host. I believe in you, Jimmy. Are you sure you want to ask the host? Are you sure you want to spend that here? 
I think you worth it, Jimmy, because okay. this right here got me smashed. I'm stumped. <laughs> so, Jimmy, okay. I'm asking you final ask. Okay, all right. Jimmy, don't, help me. I don't have the answer, but I will tell you with 100% certainty that the answer is B on his feet because chukkas are kind of a, a shoe that's somewhere between a moccasin and a boot. It's like, a, you know, it's a shoe I would never wear. <laughs> me either, because I don't know what you're talking about. But okay, so I'm gonna go with that because I believe in you, Jimmy. Okay. And Chuckas does sound like a shoe, kind of. Yeah. So <laughs> B on his feet, final answer. That is your final answer. Computer, please reveal the correct answer. That is the correct answer. All right, let's take a break. We really need to recombobulate. We'll be right back wearing chuckas when we return. Welcome back to Billionaire, where we have officially confirmed the existence of woodchucks. Tiffany Haddish is in the hot seat tonight. Uh, Tiffany's got a movie called Bad Trip coming out with Eric Andre and Lil Rel. I've seen this movie and it is hysterically funny. It, it is, it I is. haven't seen it yet. You I haven't just, seen you it? No, we have fun making it. I had a good time. It, it came out really good. good. So far, Tiffany has earned $16,000 for She Ready Foundation, her foundation that helps foster children. Uh, we're gonna win a lot more too. Justin is behind you, backing you up. Let's play Millionaire, here we go. <laughs> For $32,000, Tiffany. The staircase near Shakespeare and Jerome Avenues in the Bronx has become a hot spot for tourists seeking to reenact a memorable scene from what 2019 film? Joker, Avengers Endgame, Us, It Chapter Two. I feel like, because I've seen a lot of posts on the IG mm -hmm. of people trying to redo Joker. Mm -hmm. That's why I feel like it is. Justin? So I'm not your pop culture uh, expert, but I agree with you that it's Joker. Do you remember when he got dressed up and he came dancing down yeah, the... Yeah, down the stairs. Yeah. La, 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 la. <laughs> <laughs> It, I didn't see It Chapter 2 because I don't mess with scary movies, so I wouldn't even know. I, I, don't, I haven't seen no post about it on the IG. You don't watch scary movies, huh? No, I don't do scary movies. That's Why? not my thing because I believe in demons. <laughs> and I feel like when you watch movies about demons, demons try to come into your house or jump onto your aura. Now you got to do a demon shake off and get in the ocean and pray. Um, <laughs> but I do do mental illness and I feel like the Joker is definitely in that realm. I, I know that very well, that runs in the family. Um, so um, I'm gonna go with my spirit tells me a Joker final answer. This is a big one, you know. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Your final answer. Woo, Justin, we're doing this for the kids. You got this, going all the way. For the babies, for the babies. You got $32,000. You can't leave here with less than $32,000 for your charity. But now you have to make a choice. You still have two lifelines left. Uh-huh. Would you like to trade one of those lifelines, which are phone a friend and 50-50, for the chance to use Justin one more time, and if so, which one? I definitely want to use Justin again. And I'm definitely gonna trade. Dang, I shouldn't have used you earlier, but I needed you, I needed you. <laughs> so I'm glad I did. I'm gonna tra trade the 50-50. Okay, 50-50. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I didn't say final. Wait, hold, hold okay. up, wait a minute, because I'm thinking about it. And if y'all give me one of them long questions, and I'm trying to tell my friend, she like to talk a lot. Mm. Now I'm gonna go for the 50-50, give up the 50-50. All right. Because I believe in my homegirl. Yeah, I believe in my friend. Be gone, computer, make that trade. Justin, we are gonna say goodbye to you for now, but we will see you most likely a little bit later, all right? Okay. 
All right, Tiffany, you are. I love you, Justin. <laughs> You're five questions away from the million dollars for sixty-four thousand dollars. Okay. Axillary hyperhidrosis is a condition less elegantly known as what? Stinky feet, sweaty pits, stank breath, the burps. Okay, so axillary is dealing with the axle. Okay, <laughs> what's the axle of the body? I'm gonna go with the shoulder area up in here somewhere, right? Who the axle? Hi, hyper is overactive. Okay, mm -hmm. hydrosis is moisture plus osis. Okay, <laughs> osis usually is in relation to halitosis. Uh, vaginosis, basically something that's funky. All right, so we got sweaty pits, that's in the axle area. Okay, stank breath, that's up in here. That's in the, that's in the, that's in the, um, you know, and they call stank breath. Stank breath is known typically as a uh, halitosis, but that also sounds like feet too. But um, the feet, that's athlete feet, and there's fungus. And I forget what that technical term is for that. You know I'm a scientist, right? <laughs> so, learning this. Okay, burps. Burps, that's just gas. That's a gasinosis. Um, <laughs> so I feel like it's in the realm of stinky feet and sweaty pits. But you know, I used to suffer from very uh, sweaty armpits. What did you do? I got the laser hair removed, but the hair grow back real quick. So, <laughs> um, and I still got the sweaty pits. They sweating right now, just thinking about this. I feel like I have hyperdosis, hyperdo, hyperdo, what? Hyperhidrosis? That sound like something you use to grow marijuana. Hyperhidrosis. <laughs> okay, you know what? My spirit tells me. Yeah. And it keep on resonating. Okay. I'm gonna go with B, sweaty pits. <laughs> kind of the perfect question, I guess. <laughs> Am I right? Tell me, buddy. Is that your final answer? <laughs> I hate when I doubt myself. But I'm gonna go with my first instinct because that's usually the right instinct. When you come, when you second de guessing yourself, that's usually the devil. Okay? So that's demon trying to get in. I ain't messing with you. Back away, demon. Okay, I might be a little crazy. <laughs> but. <laughs> this 32,000. My spirit is this. Can I go pee pee? <laughs> Somebody hand me my phone. I <laughs> just slammed away. Woo! And I gave up my 50 50. Questions are gonna get harder. <sighs> B, sweaty pits. Final answer. You know what I think we should do? We should take a break. Oh. And then. <laughs> I mean, if we're gonna sweat, we're gonna have Why sweat. Why you doing me like this, Jimmy? <laughs> Don't do this to your girl, Jimmy. I'm, it's the demon that got inside Jimmy! of me. We're gonna take a break and we'll be right back with Tiffany Haddish. Tiffany Haddish is in the hot seat. It's, it's hotter than ever right now. <laughs> really sweating I'm, it out. I'm feeling like I'm suffering from hyperhidrosis Literally right now. <laughs> sweating it out. You have $32,000. You're going for $64,000. <laughs> if you're right, you got $64,000, and we keep going. If you're wrong, Jimmy, this is the worst date ever. Just such a <laughs> I've heard that before. Come on. Tiffany. Your answer, sweaty pits, is absolutely right. Yeah! 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 I'm so glad scientist! Your spirit served you well. Wow! Never doubt the first instinct! No! Now, you broke it down perfectly right at the beginning, and then you talked then everything through. Then I let the devil through. come in for a second, but mm -hmm. you see, I rebuked him. You okay, rebuked I rebuked them. them. I learned that from Judaism. Let's go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. No more devil. Next no, question devil for $125,000 for your charity. 
helping foster kids. The question is, in the infamous cut to black final scene of The Sopranos, Tony and his family are sitting in a booth at a restaurant, snacking on what? Spaghetti. <laughs> Shrimp cocktail, <laughs> onion rings, chicken fingers, nachos. Not yeah. spaghetti, that I can tell you. Okay. So. <sighs> the final episode, go into your mind, Tiffany, because you watched this. And they was eating. And did it look fried to you? I feel like, I feel like they was holding brown. That my, definitely was, they was at that restaurant. You ain't never seen them eating no nachos in that restaurant. Definitely it was something brown, because that would be aesthetically pleasing to the eye against whatever they had on. And shrimp cocktail would be aesthetically pleasing as well. So would nachos, because they have all the colors in them. You've narrowed it down to all of them. <laughs> Shut up, Jimmy. My brain is working. <laughs> OK. So I don't think they would snack on shrimp cocktail. That's like, you know, that's more fancy. But then, you know, they could be implying that he about to swim with the fishes. With the shrimp cocktail, he about to be swimming with the fishes, man. You know, that's if you're thinking deep into it. The onion rings about to ring your neck. You know, chicken fingers, I'm cutting off your fingers. Nachos. I don't think nachos really, I think I'm gonna have to, I'm, let, let's, let's call, let's call my, my friend. Okay. Let's call Aiko. Who is your friend, Aiko? Aiko, she's my friend. You sure you want to call her? Yeah, because, I mean, we both love food and... Okay. You know, just to get her opinion on this. Um, let's get her on the line, then. Yeah, let's call Aiko. Aiko Makino is her name? Yes. Hello? Hello, Aiko. Hi. It's Jimmy Kimmel from Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Jimmy. I'm here with Tiffany Haddish, as you know. She's trying to win $125,000 right now, but she needs help. Okay, Bestie, I'm here for you. In a second, Tiffany's going to read you a question and four possible answers. You'll have okay. 30 seconds all in. That means the question counts against the time, so you really can't delay. You have to give an answer quickly, okay? Okay. Remember, use your first instinct, first instinct. You guys ready? She ready. Yeah. Your time starts now. Ico, in The Sopranos, the final episode, Tony is sitting at the booth with his family before it fades to black. What is he eating? S shrimp cocktail, chicken fingers, onion rings, or nachos? Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, my gosh. Shrimp that cocktail, chicken fingers, onion rings, or nachos? Come on. First instinct. Shrimp? Shrimp? Yeah, that's your first, that's your answer. That shrimp cocktail had a big question mark at the end of it. Yeah, it sure did. It went shrimp cocktail. Damn, Jimmy, you I do don't know, bro. I don't know, Doug. <laughs> I looked down for a second, and I looked up, and you were bald. <laughs> Jimmy, I'm stressed out, Jimmy. Jimmy, I had to take my hair off. I got to think. I need, I need all the messages to come into my head. I had to take my hair off. Wow. We've never had that happen before. Well, you Once know what? Dr. Phil put his hair on, but other than that. <laughs> oh. Ooh. You also still have Justin back there. Justin don't know. Am I dumb that I had no idea you were wearing a wig? You didn't know, Jimmy. <laughs> I had no idea. <laughs> Does mine look real? Yeah. Yeah, OK. <laughs> I'm about to jump out my whole outfit. <laughs> <laughs> this is what guys do when they stressed out, like this right here. <laughs> I noticed that since I cut my hair off. This, this is very relaxing. <laughs> In my spirit, I'ma say A, shrimp cocktail. Nope, nope, nope. 
Jell, I'm gonna use all my. Let me just Might use, as well use your, your last lifeline. Justin, what you think? Let's bring the lights back up on Justin. Well, I'm here for moral support. You didn't invite me, I don't think, for all the pop culture stuff. I was hoping for uh, axillary hyperhidrosis because I knew that one. Um, I'm I'm very very sorry, Tiffany. I am no help here. I have 64,000. You do. And if I answer this right, it'd be 125,000. It will. If you I get answer it wrong, it wrong, goes down to 32,000. So, a shrimp cocktail final answer. Oof. It was onion rings. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, that was tough. That's a oh. tough one. That's a tough little detail to remember. But you do <laughs> leave with $32,000 for She Ready Foundation. And I hope other people will support She Ready Foundation. I will join you in supporting She Ready Foundation. Can I play again? <laughs> <laughs> Tiffany, you did great. <laughs> I Thank you play for being again, with Jimmy. us. <laughs> We'll do another round. Wait, that's backwards. <laughs> Tiffany Haddish, everybody. Thank you for being here. We'll be right back to play uh, more Millionaire. I want to come back. Welcome back to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? It's time to meet our next player. He is a firefighter on the front line of this pandemic and all the other horrors Mother Nature is sending our way this year. Please welcome a guy who knows his way around a hot seat. Say hello to Oliver Fry. Oliver. Welcome. Thank you. How are you? Please. Good. Thank you. How you doing? Good, yourself? I'm doing well. Thank I hear you're from a family of firefighters. Yes, I am the I am the youngest of six firefighters on the fire department. It's interesting that a family named Fry would <laughs> would be against fire. Yes, you know, in the past, like maybe seven years ago, we got our names put on our uh, uniforms now, and some people say that they go. You're How Fry. ironic is that? You see Fry. I'm Fry, I'm Burns. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So. Got gotcha. you. All right. Exactly. Well, and how long have you been doing this? Uh, 20 years. What's the best part of your job? I would say the friendships and the camaraderie among my coworkers. It's just awesome. Has it been more difficult given the events of the last year? Yeah, it's been a little difficult with the COVID coming on. It's changed the way we operate sometimes in the station. I'm not afraid of, if I get COVID, I'm just worried about giving it to my family or my uh, friends or anything like that. It's been tough, you know, during this time. My mom's 92 and I, it's, I talk to her every day, but I haven't seen her in probably four or five months. I haven't, I don't, I feel terrible if I, you know, got her sick or anything like that. Is she watching right now? I hope so, she will be. Okay, all right, let's do this. You're 15 questions away from a million dollars. The rules are very simple. The more questions you get right, the more money you win. And we really want you to win, so we're giving you some help. I say that to everyone, but this time I mean it. You get three lifelines, 50-50, phone a friend, ask the host, and we let you bring the smartest person you know <laughs> to help out. Who'd you bring? I brought my sister, Kathy. Uh, let's meet your sister, Kathy. Kathy Sanchez. Hello, Kathy. Hello. Kathy, what do you do for work? I am a retired educator. Perfect. So yeah. you know a lot of things. <laughs> I, I would think. <laughs> I hope. I hope. <laughs> what grade did you teach? I taught elementary school and middle school. Oh, all right. Great. Well, Kathy can help as much as you want her to help yes. for the first 10 questions. Are you ready to do this? Let's do it. All right. Let's win some money. Let's all play right. Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. All right. Oliver Fry for $100. You're most likely to hear the announcement, please remain seated until the captain has turned off the fasten seatbelt sign while doing what? <laughs> Shopping for groceries? Flying in an airplane? 
getting a haircut, being abducted by aliens? <laughs> well, I'm gonna go with the answer B. We were just talking about this in the back room with my sister about flying recently with the COVID. So I'm gonna go with B, flying in an airplane. That's, Final answer. That's a good reason to do it. And that is the right answer. You got $100 for $200. Yes. In a cheeky introduction to its privacy policy, what brand's website states, our site uses cookies. We make them too. Chiquita, Tropicana, Oreo, Ragu. Um, we know that Oreo cookies, and that's our hint right there. So I'll go with C, final answer. Final answer is Oreo, and that is absolutely right, Oreo. You wouldn't need a ragu cookie, that's for no, sure. No, that wouldn't taste so well. For $300, Oliver, located in Bath, England, Mr. B's Emporium of Reading Delights is the fanciful name of a local what? Pharmacy, florist, bookstore, gym. C, bookstore, final answer. And yes, that is the answer we were looking for. Have you been to England? No, I haven't. Have you had a bath? <laughs> yeah, I okay. took the one to before I came. I did notice, even though you're six feet away, you smell very good. Thank All you. Right. For $500. <laughs> Oliver, which of the following is a nickname for a photographer and not an insect? Bedbug, ladybug, stink bug, shutterbug. No, it's not bedbug or stink bug or ladybug. I know it's a shutterbug. And it's going to be D, final answer. Final answer is shutterbug. Right. <laughs> That's right. Thank you. They've been easy so far. Let's keep them that way. Let's keep them that way. This one's for $1,000. All though. right, here we go. Here we go. A mountain climber whose leg muscles begin to involuntarily vibrate is said to have what? Liberace legs, Elvis legs, Coolio legs, meatloaf legs. Ooh, gotta be Elvis, because he does the twist and everything. So um, we're gonna go with B, final answer. Final answer is B. Yeah, Elvis legs. That's right. It was a little tricky. Yeah, you know, you, I was thinking, I thought it'd be like uh, cramping or something like that. Let's take a break, and during the commercial, let's look at each other's legs. What do you say? Well, yeah. Okay, Oliver's let's do it. here. Oliver's got $1,000. We're going all the way up to a million this time. We'll be right back. Thank you for making me at ease. Hey, you're doing great. Millionaire Oliver Fry is in the hot seat tonight. He is a firefighter. He's earned a thousand dollars so far. Here we go. Let's play millionaire. Let's, Let's play. do this. Let's do this. For two thousand dollars, Neil deGrasse Tyson's Twitter account has what accurate one-word bio? Astrophysicist, judge, quarterback, proctologist. <laughs> uh, I. Kathy, you're gonna work with me on this one. I, gosh, Oliver. Oh, let me see. Let's take a look. I don't like that. <laughs> uh, I know he's not a quarterback. Doesn't I know he's have a two proctologist or judge. Oh, I know who he is. He's always on. Uh, I know who he is. What do you think? He's the one gentleman on uh, Discovery Channel or something yeah. like that who does all the astrophysics. Yeah, that's board. what I was thinking. That's, also, that's that's who it is. It came to me. So I'm glad I had that little. Uh, Something in my brain told me that. So we're going to go with A, final answer. And that's right. Final answer is A. Astrophysicist. Yes. That means we are out of time. But you're not out of time. You're going to keep playing. You, you can come back, yes? Of course I'll be here. OK, very good. But before we bring the show to a close, I, I want to take a moment to mention the real host of this program, a delightful man named Regis. Everyone knew him by his first name. I had the pleasure of knowing Regis personally and spending time with him and his wife, Joy, at my home, at his home. And I will tell you, he was exactly the same off the air as he was on. He was so much fun, so full of energy, and truly one of the all-time great television personalities. Regis was here with us on this set to visit us and to support us the day we started taping, which meant a lot to me. And to honor him, our producer, Michael Davies, ABC, Sony, and I are making donations to his favorite charities, the Food Bank New York City and the Center for the Homeless in South Bend in the name of the Philbin family. We'd like to send love to Joy and Regis. 
uh, his daughters and, and grandchildren. This show, Millionaire, is one of the most popular shows ever. 1.30 million Americans tuned in every night to watch it, largely because of this man, Regis Philbin. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Here we go. <laughs> Final answer? Final answer. I'm a fat man, Regis. My heart can't take it. I'm just trying to help you sweat off a few pounds. Are you going to make that your final answer? Yes. You had $125,000. You now have $250,000. I believe I will phone a friend. Who do you want to call? Uh... <laughs> you take your time. You just take your time. Want to call one of my friends? What do you think? I would like to call my friend Greg. Quickly, get us Greg before he changes his mind. John, you've got 30 seconds. Starts right now. Uh, hi, Dad. Hi. Uh, I don't really need your help, but I just wanted to let you know that I'm going to win the million dollars. <laughs> Uh, because the U.S. president appeared on Laughing is Richard Nixon. That's my final answer. Well, my gosh. What can I say except, Debbie, you're going to Paris, and this is the final answer heard all around the world. He's won a million dollars. Hey, Jimmy, it was a lot of fun. Take care of yourself. Good luck. You built this house, and that's why people love this show. I mean, it's a great game, but Regis is the reason. No one will ever be better at doing this than you. No one. Never. I've enjoyed it a lot. See you soon. Bye-bye. And so it seems that we have met before and laughed.